Welcome, Aries, to your end of the month reading for October. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, so I hope you have a wonderful Halloween that is coming up. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. And make sure you hit that like button. We're going to get this, this channel moving. Okay. straight into your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you for the end of the month. And this is going to run into about November 3rd as well. So I'll be being sure to write that on there. Okay. The end of the month, the beginning of the month, you have the King of Pentacles. Wow. Holding on to your prosperity is feeling very self-assured about your money and about where your prosperities lie. Very nice. Feels like you know your money is on an upswing and really holding tight to that. Getting straight into clarifying on the King of Pentacles not only clarifies it, but the entire reading. Such for Aries. Prosperity begins. There it is. Seeing your fruit come in. Okay. And getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. In the present, we have the Ten of Pentacles coming right out for you, showing that money, 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 and feeling the prosperity is in it. Ooh, in the recent past, you felt the Nine of Cups, feeling like you were getting to where you your happiness is, getting exactly what you want with the imprints in the near future. Wow. More prosperity, more abundance. Very nice. Wow. So with the Nine of Cups over here, it feels like you are getting the satisfaction and the things done that you want uh, for yourself. Very nice. Feeling like the Queen of Coins. Got your prosperity material with the, wow, with the Nine of Coins coming in. There's a lot of independence going on. You're saying, I did this for myself, by myself, and I'm traveling in a beautiful place towards my prosperities. I'm um, feeling like I am achieving exactly what I asked for. Um, with what? Patiently planning. So it was something you were patiently planning that seems to have come through. Um, if you put in that job resume, you have the job that you want, standing where you are, and it feels like you can even patiently plan how to do the next step, like what money I can save, if you're ready to invest, my friends, now is the time to invest. And the Seven of Coins is an investment card saying you have enough resources to do so. With the Ten of Pentacles coming in right now, look at that. Having that money going your way. Temperance, it's been a long time waiting. Wow, I heard that. It's been a long time waiting. I was ready to be on top of again. I was ready for this. Wow. And really keeping yourself in your own energy of fire, and that's very good. This is where you open up your creative resources for yourself, right? Keeping yourself creative, keeping yourself, um, there's even a firm assurity over here. I'm keeping that strength and courage and really looking at more ships coming in. I mean, it's like you've seen one ship come in and you're ready to daydream about what the next step is. This is where the prosperity really begins, right? Because I have... This tree is ripening, now I have the next tree ripening. So if you're getting ready to plan that great vacation, it's like you might be planning all your resources over here in the recent past when you started seeing the money coming through um, to actually get to this area where you want. Wow. Could even be a secret thing that you're kind of doing, kind of keeping it to yourself um, about what your next step is. Could even be opening up your own psychic psych, uh, psychic senses um to look for the perfect planning maybe you're putting trying to put a time date to this if i save this much money i can do this and once again we're talking about that perfect timing so it feels like hey well the perfect time came in i feel great now i'm gonna wait for the next perfect timing for the victory so there is something that you are going after again um and it does feel like you might be saving money um for this goal um, so it does feel like you're working towards a goal. Really feeling like you have your footing right back where you're supposed to be on that firm foundation. Uh, with the imprints over here, you're doing great. 
You have the prosperities, the abundance, your money is looking great. You have more money coming in. Uh, just feeling very prosperous about the whole situation. All right. You've worked hard on your financial situation. You've been saving and planning um, for whatever it was that you're dreaming of, and it's seeing the payoff now. So the Empress is saying, here comes your payoff. Um, you have all the resources you need to do so. So you can go ahead and act on those ideas and um, using the authority and the confidence that you were using over here with the queen, you can also use this new nurturing, loving imprint energy um, to really give you the support that you need to get this taken care of. Wow. So whatever you're trying to take care of, now is the time. You guys have been saving hard over here. Working hard. Okay. So the inference is saying, and this is the, it's justified, there it is, it's your time, perfect timing. The justice says it's, it's uh, balanced, there's a lot of balance now, so whatever you have, um, you have the perfect balance between the two, the work and now maybe the play, or whatever project you're doing. So, you might want to risk it, <laughs> it's, it's like time to escape um, some responsibilities now is what it's saying with the seven of swords upside down. And that's good because that means now Aries, it's time to play. You have the resources that you need to, to go out and have some fun. So go ahead and escape some of those, those responsibilities and go give yourself a good time. Just don't let somebody confuse you about the situation because you're not 100% escaping. <laughs> you're just taking the time out that you need. Um, but with the Seven of Cups upside down, it says stop with the multitasking. Everything's fine. You're doing great now. Um, now it's time for some play and some good time. Wow, you have the Ace of Cups. So, wow. And you're just going to continue to see the upswing of money coming in as you have your cups overfilled over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab a card of your daily healing so that way we can see where you're going over here. Some daily healing inspiration cards along your journey to get to where this prosperity is. Things looking good. This one says, devote yourself to discovering the highest truths. Nice. And you have the justice over there saying, yes, you will. Mastering the step you're on. So you don't need to slow down or do anything. It feels like you are mastering the step you're on. Just remembering that um, will actually help you along the way. Okay. So looks very nice, my friends. Okay. And... Let's just grab an overall card. It looks like the Ace of Cups is pretty much kind of the overall card, but I was going to grab another one. I've been doing it for everybody all month, so let's see what the, the end of it is. It's Rejoice and Celebration. Like I said, because it's going to be time for you to step back and go do something fun. Um, so actually take that time and go and rejoice with your friends and get some good love and fun out of that. Okay. Because your material spiritual prosperities are right where... They need to be. And that uh, material prosperity is, is taking you to the, it's pretty much this whole reading is taking you to the next level. So if you were looking for material, there is that material that you were looking for. Whether, you know, it's a new house or whatever you're doing, you know, maybe it's clothes to go on a vacation or a cruise. Who knows, right? So, but you have that. So, looks beautiful. So until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.